many people believe that outer space is a dangerous environment for humans. In fact, massive explosions occur in the darkness. It's enormous and mysterious enough that people can anticipate danger from it. Dangers in space can come from fast-moving asteroids and comets, as well as the presence of many black holes, which could potentially be the reason for the destruction of our planet Earth. But in this video, instead of talking about large asteroids and comets, let's talk about something small, a sewing needle. What do you think will happen if it flies across space at the speed of light before colliding with our planet? According to science, any object made of matter cannot travel at the speed of light. That is why NASA scientists have never considered this situation. But in this video, I'll show you what would happen if something that unusual actually occurred. Today, you'll learn how a small thing can be extremely harmful when it moves quickly enough and how it can bring our beloved world to an end. Did you know that the Earth is constantly being hit by many cosmic bodies? It's just that we aren't seeing most of them because they burn right away when they enter the atmosphere. However, there are exceptions to this. Some cosmic bodies reach the Earth's visibility zone, making everyone notice them. Consider the Shelyabinsk meteor, often known as an asteroid that caused the extinction of the dinosaurs. It's important to note that all of these heavenly bodies move at a relatively slow rate, which is understandable given the vastness of the universe. In the case of the Shelyabinsk meteor, it was traveling at a speed of 60 to 69,000 kilometers per hour, or 37 to 43,000 miles per hour. What if scientists one day convey bad news about an unknown object approaching the Earth at the same speed? Let's imagine that the object hitting the Earth is as little as a needle or a grain of sand. If you're now laughing and thinking this won't be a big deal and that you shouldn't be concerned, you're mistaken. Remember that what appears to be impossible at first may be the most dangerous. The most threatening factor in the case of a little needle hitting Earth is its speed. Consider this, if a car collides with a person that is traveling at a speed of roughly 50 kilometers per hour or 31 miles per hour, the individual can survive. However, if it happens that the car is traveling at 65 kilometers per hour or 40 miles per hour, the person with whom the car collides with could die or suffer serious injuries. See how different the outcomes are due to the different speed. Moving on, light travels at a speed of over 300,000 kilometers per second or 186,000 miles per second. At this speed, only visible light, gravitational waves, and other types of electromagnetic radiation can travel. Objects that are heavier cannot travel at this speed, but they can come close to this. In the Large Hadron Collider, for example, protons are accelerated to near light speed, so a needle or grain of sand can approach the Earth near the speed of light as well. The length of the simplest sewing needle is roughly 35 millimeters or about 1 in 4 tenths of an inch. A huge particle of sand can be 5 millimeters in diameter or 19 hundredths of an inch, whereas the Shelyavinsk meteor has a diameter of roughly 20 meters or 66 feet. Even if the difference between these diameters is huge, it barely matters in this scenario. When an object moves fast, even if it is small, it has the potential to be fatal. Unlike the celestial bodies I discussed previously, they will not burn up in the atmosphere or explode quietly when they reach the surface. What happens is that the molecules that keep an object together simply won't function. Because of this, a grain of sand or a needle becomes nothing more than a cluster of atoms traveling through the air. Aside from this, the real threat is kinetic energy. Let's take into consideration the kinetic energy of a particle of sand that has clearly reached the speed of light. Well, that would be equal to the kinetic energy of an object that is weighing 100 tons, and that is the same as falling from a 15-story building. To understand this easier, imagine the Statue of Liberty's portion falling off its pedestal in one single swoop. That is the equivalent. Given all of this, it's difficult to determine whether scientists will notice if a needle traveling at the speed of light collides with Earth. If it collides with the Earth's surface, all of the kinetic energy would be converted into the energy of the explosion. 
The energy released will be comparable to that of a nuclear bomb, roughly 43 kilotons of TNT. And this is not something we should underestimate. Take for example the bomb Thetman on Nagasaki, which had a capacity of roughly 21 kilotons. Yes, a simple needle can be compared to a nuclear bomb capable of destroying an entire city. Let's look at New York as a model of the destruction that such a collision may cause. If a needle moving at the speed of light strikes, the majority of Manhattan and the surrounding area would be destroyed. Just like what an atomic bomb can cause if it was dropped in the same place with the same magnitude. In addition, the windows of the building have the potential to break even at a distance of 4 kilometers or about 2.5 miles, which means that there would be more disaster for those who were a little closer to the center. Within a month, people who are within 1.5 kilometers or less than a mile of where the object lands are likely to die. Because of the explosion, the needle bomb can also go below the Earth, leaving a massive crater. This will undoubtedly make the Statue of Liberty collapse from where it is located. However, there's another way the needle could break into the Earth. Though it's not scientific, it's really interesting. The needle might slam into the planet and go into the Earth's crust. It will then create a hole from its entering side. Then a plasma cloud would spread to the sides. Energy and numerous particles generated by the impact with the Earth's crust will go out through the planet's body. It's as if a massive fountain containing all the matter that makes up our planet will be created. The temperature will increase in a split second and no one will be able to survive. Can you now understand the end of this? Earth will be ripped apart due to an explosion. This also suggests that due to a single needle, the solar system that we know today may change forever. Keep in mind that all of these scenarios are hypothetical, thus there is a possibility that a different situation may occur. According to physicists, the needle will simply penetrate the Earth because of its tremendous kinetic energy and massive inertia, and nothing serious might happen. This travel of the needle to the center of the Earth would happen so quickly, unable to be noticed by anyone. The needle will leave the planet on the other side and go back out into space. Earthquakes may occur due to the interaction between the mantle and the Earth's crust. But don't worry, because these shakes won't be as powerful. Given this scenario, there is a high possibility that humanity can still manage to survive. But what could happen if the needle doesn't hit the ground, or even the water, and instead hits a human being? Although there is a minimal possibility that this may occur, it is still possible, and therefore it is necessary to consider it. The needle would feel as though it were the Statue of Liberty falling on your head. You may now be thinking that there is no way for you to survive that. Well, I think so, because the needle's kinetic energy will, e will be extremely high, and once your body absorbs it, it will simply explode. However, physics has a different opinion on this situation. The needle will quickly begin to disrupt all the bonds between cells of your body the moment it comes into contact with your skin. That is due to the tremendous energy and small size. The rest of your body will feel numb. The needle will simply pass through your body, wasting a small amount of its energy in friction and raising your temperature slightly. The needle can make a nearly perfect hole in your body, but oddly, no vital organs will be damaged, at least not badly, and the wound would most likely be cauterized. So are you now scared of needles that travel at light speed? Well, I believe the decision is still yours to make. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Please click the bell icon so you'll be notified when new videos are posted. And as always, thanks for watching.